Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another Airbrush Asylum live stream. In today's live stream, we want to take a quick look at a couple of new products that we've got in store. One is Sharpen Air, so we've got their needle straightening tool and some of their polishing pads, as well as some products from Segola. So just thought I'd show you them. We will be doing some uh, videos on these, on a, a bit of a review and how to use the Sharpen Air, as well as a review on the Segola products. All right, so stay tuned for those. But in the meantime, let's take a look. All right, let me just spin this camera around. Okay, we're just in the shop front here. So these are the Sharpen Air polishing pads. Okay, so you can see them here. These are 3000 grit, so they look like a mini mouse pad. Um, and basically what you do is once you've finished sharpening your needle, because the Sharpen Air, what it does is fixes your airbrush needle. Okay, so you've got a bent needle or a damaged needle, you put it through the Sharpen Air device and that will fix it. And then these polishing pads are designed for when you've finished re-straightening your needle and fixing it up, you use that to polish. So let's just walk over here to the display cabinets and we'll show you some of the Sharpen Air. We're actually the one of the Australian distributors as well as Advanced Airbrush in Sydney and Perth in Australia. So we, um, we're fortunate enough to be a distributor of this great new product. Okay, so that's what they look like. You see the polishing pads as before. Some other products there by our water. Let's just come through here. So this is the actual device. Okay, so you can see it's got the logo on there. And it's got four holes there for your needles. And what it's got, it's got some stones in the back here. So what you do is you put your needle in, turn it, and then move it down the row of holes until you've um, totally finished uh, straightening it. So the first two, what they do is they'll knock out any blemishes in your needle, and then the other two were pretty much your polishing ones. And then obviously you've got your polishing pad on top of that. So it's a unique little device. As you can see, it's a good size. You know, not, not that big, so you can easily put it in with all your other airbrush gear. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's um, yeah, really good quality production and um, great little tool. We've used it quite a bit already. Um, as I said, I will be bringing out a dedicated video showing you how to use it and um, yeah, what we think of it. So that will come out soon. Now, the other thing is Segola, these Spanish airbrushes, they got in touch with us and they were kind enough to send me out a few airbrushes to trial, as well as a spray gun. So this is a, a little uh, 0.2 mil airbrush. So you can see here, still double action and everything. Just got the rubber protector cap on there. Pretty cool how they got the, the red air cap. Um, they come packaged really nicely too. So I think this is X200, I think it's called. Uh, yes, X-Tech 200. So the X-Tech is the series and that's a 200, so I'd imagine for the 0.2. They're going to send me a 0.3 mil as well, uh, another gravity one, which will be sort of equivalent to a sort of an Iwata HPCP, something around that sort of design. This one here is a suction feed, so this has a 0.5 uh, mil needle in it. I think you can also get a 0.3 mil needle in this one but I've opted for the 0.5 just to test that one out. Um, as well as this little mini spray gun, gravity feed spray gun, which it actually has quite an interesting nozzle. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It does also come with a regular, you might be able to see that there, just a regular fan nozzle. So we'll hook that up and try that. Now this one comes as a kit. so. It's the premium 3800 kit, and that comes with that airbrush that you saw there and the spray gun. The other thing that they've sent me is a compressor to try, so CP2000. Um, you can see the specs on there, so it's got quarter horsepower, so it's reasonably powerful for a little thing, and a three and a half litre tank, which is pretty cool, so I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Uh, it's got the moisture trap and reg, obviously, and you can see the tank in there. So. Again, this will be a dedicated um, video. With the Segola stuff, I'm gonna do some artwork um, and then showcase it that way. So we'll do a full on uh, review and a test. They've asked me to do an unbiased review. So I look forward to doing that and seeing how good the products are. 
All right, so that's the Segola stuff. And you probably, I don't know if you've seen it already, but we've got some tutorials on the stretchy skulls that we did that sample panel for. Well, here is the bike. So these are the tins. So for you that are, anyone that's following that particular artwork, I just thought I'd show you. I just picked these up from our painter today. These have all been painted and prepped. Um, so they're painted in silver and they've got a two-pack clear over them and they've been wet sanded. They're ready for airbrushing now, so that'll be the next step. So next week we'll most likely bring you an update with this as part of a live feed. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, so that's pretty much it at the moment. So let me just spin the camera back around. All right. So there you have it. So that's today's live stream. It's only a quick one. As I said, we will be back next week with another live stream, and I'm going to show you progress on that uh, set of Harley tanks and guards. Um, or if you're in the States, you probably call them fenders, but uh, here in Australia they're called guards. Um, so we'll do the stretchy skulls. He has opted to leave the candy out, so the customer is just going with the silver, so we're excited about that. Um, apart from that, if you are new to this channel, feel free to uh, hit subscribe if you like this content, you like videos about airbrushing and anything to do with airbrushing, that's sort of what we focus on. We do lots of uh, tutorials, uh, live streams, step-by-steps, the whole lot. So by all means, if you want to join our community, you're more than welcome to um, subscribe and tap the bell notification, that'll keep you... Uh, notified when we go live and we do these uh, live streams plus if we do any new tutorials so that way you won't miss out. Apart from that, that's enough for me from me today um, but we'll see you guys again next week and we'll get into some more airbrushing. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Goodbye.